This is another equation practice video. So this one is force is the rate of change of momentum. So just a really quick recap. So the equation force is the rate of change of momentum or the change in momentum divided by the change in time. So that's in its basic format. In a more complicated format, the change in momentum will be the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So that would be mv minus mu divided by the change in time. Okay, and just another tip, you can factorise that one, so you can pull the M out, so it'd be M, V minus U, over changing time. Okay, so force is obviously measured in Newtons, so let's do that now. Time is always in seconds, the mass is in kilograms, and the final speed V and the initial speed, or initial velocity, U, is always in metres per second. Okay, so I'm going to rub this out. Uh, if you need that, obviously pause, and then I want you to have a go at questions one and two as soon as you're ready. Okay, and then in a couple of seconds, what I'll do, if you press play, I'll go through the answers. Now, these are quite tricky, so let's have a look. So we've got a car, it's got a mass of 822 kilograms, really light for a car, and it's initially travelling at 25.7 metres per second, Accelerates for 15 seconds until it reaches a final velocity of 28.1. What is the resultant force acting on the car to cause this change in velocity? So the equation is force is the change in momentum divided by the change in time. So the change in momentum is the final momentum minus the initial momentum. So let's use this version. So force is, remember, mass and then velocity, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time. Okay, so let's put some numbers in. So the mass is 822 multiplied by the final velocity, which is 28.1. Subtract the initial velocity, 25.7, divided by 15 seconds. So if you put that in your calculator, you'll get a force that's equal to 131.5 or 132 newtons. Try the second one. So on this one, carb mass 1,627 kilos, initially travelling at 13.1 metres per second. We know the force this time is 740. Acts on the car for a time, and the car ends up with a final velocity of 23.5. How long was the resultant force acting on the car? So this time, got the equation. Force is change in momentum divided by the change in time. And what we need is time. So we can times by time divide by force. If you're not very good at maths, if you ever get something that looks like this, you can just swap them around and you can call it a sneaky swap. So the change in time is equal to the change in momentum divided by the force. So the change in momentum is going to be the mass multiplied by the change in velocity divided by the force. So let's put some numbers in. So the mass is 1,627 multiplied by the final velocity, 23.5. Subtract the initial velocity of 13.1. Then we're going to divide that by the force of 740 newtons. And that will give us the change in time. So if you calculate that, you should get 22.86 seconds. And we'll round that to 23 seconds. So hopefully that went okay. Got a couple more questions, uh, slightly trickier. Let's have a look at these ones now. So if you want to pause the video and have a go at these, and then in a few seconds I'll start taking you through the answers. So let's look at question three, should have done that now. So a resultant force of 830 newtons acts on a car for 10 seconds and changes the velocity of the car from that to that. What is the mass of the car? Okay, so force is equal to change in momentum divided by change in time. And we're going to use the force is change in momentum mass and then V minus U over time. So we need to rearrange to find M. So we need to times through by T. So force times time would give us mass V minus U, change in velocity. And then to get mass on its own, we need to get rid of the times V minus U by doing the opposite, which is divide. So simply force times time divided by the change in velocity, and that will give us the mass. Then we just need to put some numbers in. So the force is 813 times the time of 10 seconds. 
divided by V. So the final velocity is 30.9. Subtract the tw initial 20.5. So you put that in your calculator, you should get a mass that's equal to 781.7, and we will put 782 kilograms. Hopefully that one went okay. So let's have a look at one more. So on this one, we've got a car of mass 1,596 kilograms, initial velocity of 9.6 meters per second, We've got the force 2300 and it acts on the car for 8.2 seconds. And this time we want the final velocity. So force is change in momentum divided by the change in time. So we need to do MV. So probably MV minus U over time. So I would do force times time and then divide by mass. So FT divided by mass, and that will give us the change in, in velocity, V minus U. So let's look at that first. So force times time. So we've got force 2300 times the time of 8.2, and then divide that by the mass 1596. And that gives us 11.817, and that will be equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So we want the final velocity V, and we need to subtract the initial velocity of 9.6. So as you can see there, we need to make V the subject. So we just need to get rid of the minus 9.6, so we'll add on the other side. So our final velocity V will be equal to 11.817, or whatever number is saved in your calculator, uh, plus 9.6. So just add 9.6 to that, do that now. And that will give you a final velocity of 21.4 meters per second so if you got that right really well done if not but you've understood the explanation maybe you want to go back and try it again anyway thanks for watching and i'll speak to you soon